Welcome to APM Training by Wisdom Trainings. Welcome to Module 2 where we'll understand how to download and configure APM on an Android phone connected to a Windows machine. Later on we'll do it with the iPhone as well connected to Mac. Right. Now over here if you look this is my phone I'm mirroring it to the PC. I have used an, uh, I've used an application A Power Mirror with which I am mirroring my phone. So we'll be automating some applications on this phone. By the end of this tutorial, you should be understanding that how can we launch an application and automate it on Android phone, right? Now, these are the steps which we are going to follow. The installation process of Appium is lengthy, but if you follow them step by step, as I tell you, then you should be able to do it very easily. I have devised a 15 step tutorial right having 15 parts in which we'll be accomplishing this these are the these are all the parts in which i'll be covering these topics fine so let's start first let us have a little overview of installation that how stuff is going to work fine now the thing is um, appium as far as installation is concerned, we'll take an Android phone, connect it to the Windows machine and automate. Later on, we'll connect it to the Mac as well. And iPhone can also be connected to Mac and applications can be automated. But iPhone cannot be connected to a Windows machine. Okay, right. So in this tutorial, this is the first line, Android connected to Windows machine. That's what I'm going to do. Next is that understanding how Appium will be working. Okay. This is your PC. This is in your PC. You need to install JDK 8 and Android first. Now, why do you need to install Android? Okay, the reason is that suppose your phone is connected to the PC and you need to launch WhatsApp with the help of Appium. Then you need to have your phone detected in the developer mode first. Fine, and that can be detected by the Android okay you have to uh, enable few settings in your phone with which the developer mode will be enabled in the phone and then the phone has to be detected by Android all right because Appium has to fire few Android commands on your phone that's why the phone has to be detected in the developer mode by Android so basically the first thing is that phone has to be detected by the PC. Okay, normally the phone has to be detected by the PC. Then the phone has to be detected by the Android installed in PC as well. And in the end, Appium comes into the play. Okay, so first thing is that we have to install Android and all. Okay, apart from installation of Android, there are many other things which have to be installed. I have jotted them over here. Node.js, .NET Framework, Eclipse Plugin. So there are a lot of things and we'll be going step by step. Fine. As I told in the previous tutorial as well, minimum 4 GB RAM and very good internet connectivity is required. Okay. Now let's go to the second part. In the next part, I'll discuss about hybrid and native apps. And installation will start after that. Installation processes will start after that. Let me tell you what is the difference between these two because a lot of people ask me this. Okay. 